Hey, what's up, productivity nerds? Omar here. Uh, if you're an entrepreneur that's trying to launch a course, you've got all of this expertise and knowledge uh, in your mind, and you know you can monetize it. But the idea of you know creating an entire curriculum, planning all of the lessons, you know executing those lessons, producing the videos, editing the videos, and then setting up the entire course—that's overwhelming. It's a mammoth of a task, right? And um, this is something that's always prevented me from creating a course. But for the first time, I found a very productive system that I've implemented to start getting into this productive flow state to execute my course. And I thought I'd put it out there to share uh, with fellow entrepreneurs who's struggling with this. And hopefully you can adopt the system to get into execution mode and start finally producing your course. It's a very simple system with Notion. And I also integrate another application, which uh, I'll show you in a moment. But sometimes a lot of us overcomplicate these type of things, right? And this system is Simple yet super effective, uh, and it gives you a comprehensive way of planning your lessons thoroughly, but also going into execution mode and getting into that flow state. And you know, part of it is also gamifying your productivity because if you don't see your progress, uh, it becomes really hard to kind of stay on the path. And that's what the system is about. So let's dive in. Uh, I've set up a Notion database, as you can see over here. This has already been set up, and I've created a list view, right? Uh, and this is a very simple view where I've listed all the lessons that I've planned out as you can see over here and I've given it two specific um, properties. One is a select property that allows me to select the specific uh, mod module or assign a module rather to the lesson. And I've got a status property with a custom status called potential lessons. Uh, let me just talk you through that. So normally Notion provides you, when you add a status property, provides you with not started in progress and done. I added this one more uh, status property in the to-do section as potential lessons because these are lessons that I'm still ideating on. I haven't confirmed whether or not I'm gonna produce it. So I keep them in sort of like a backlog, an idea bank. Uh, and once we're, we're, you know, I'm confident that I want to produce that lesson, then I'll put it into not started. Uh, and that's sort of like a confirmed lessons, let's say. And then once I actually start producing it, it goes into in progress. And then finally, once it completed, it goes to done. Now we're going to go into the actual setup of this because uh, there's a few more steps to set up your Notion database before we bring in the other app that I'm going to show you is going to really tie all of this together to turn it into like a actionable focus list, which I'm, which I'm really excited to show you in a moment. But first, let's go create this new view. We want a Kanban board, right? And the Kanban board is important because we just need a board to visually see uh, all of the lessons and be able to quickly drag and drop lessons into the appropriate categories versus going down the list and finding a lesson and switching the category to in progress, right? Kanban boards is just a better way to kind of have that linear, uh, you know, flow, right? And we're going to go and add one more view. And this is sort of the more gamification piece, the, you know, the progress piece. We're going to add a chart. And the chart, again, is just to see and really visualize that progress. We can see all of the lessons that we have here. We have about 35 lessons here, so a lot to do. Uh, and we've got the potential lessons, the not started in progress. And so as you continue, it almost becomes self-fulfilling in a sense that you start to see the in progress start to climb up and then slowly move into the done category. And I think that part of that kind of visualization is going to really keep you on track and keep you motivated. But that's not the end. We now need to, you know, this is great. We've got a database. How often are you going to go to Notion? I think you will spend some time here to at least go through these list items and plan your lessons. Uh, and just to quickly show you how I do that, each of these lessons or list items opens up into uh, you know, a dedicated page with the notes for the lesson itself, right? And some of these lessons are built, you know, divided into multiple videos as well. So there's a lot of planning that goes uh, within each of these lessons that I can easily do inside of Notion by simply clicking the individual lesson and turning it into a page. Some of these lessons are blank, so I've yet to complete those. But it gives you a clear kind of visualization of which ones are blank and which ones actually got notes by looking at the icon, right? Uh, and so that's how I sort of plan the big picture, but to tie this all together into a gamified uh, system that really gets you into focus, we are going to use Blitzit. Uh, Blitzit is an application that my team and I made and what it helps you do, and we built it for ourselves, by the way, because we struggle as business owners, as entrepreneurs, struggle to, you know, we juggle so many things, we struggle to kind of uh, keep up with everything. And that's why we built Blitzit, right? Uh, and you can see these are all of my real projects over here. And I recently created 
Framework for Founders, which is the course that I want to actually create. I created a new list over here. I'm going to add the items into this list. Just to quickly show you the aha moment of what Blitzit does. What it does, it takes all your lists, allows you to prioritize, schedule them, integrate Google Calendar. You can integrate ClickUp and Notion now, which is fantastic, which I'm going to show you in a minute. You can add subtasks each for each task. You can add notes. So there's a lot that you can do in here. But the most important part is going into what we call blitz mode, which is like a focus session, which takes your highest priority task, puts it into a timer, and then you see all of your scheduled tasks for the day. I've got a bunch of meetings coming up via Google Calendar and some other tasks that I've, you know, prioritized for myself. And this really, this kind of, you know, ever visible panel on the left really keeps you locked in. Uh, and I can also collapse this little panel into a little floating timer that's ever visible on my screen. And no matter what I do, if I open up any other ap application and I work on that app, this timer is always sits on top. And from here, I can actually take a lot of quick notes. Um, you know, I can take a break. I can pause the timer. I can skip to the next task and mark it as done. And this is where the gamification piece comes in. You can see that we have these little celebratory gifts. If you don't like the gift, by the way, you can turn it off, but you have these gifts to kind of motivate you. If you want to take a break because, you know, you don't want to burn out, of course. So we're also advising, you know, or prompting you to take a break if you wish. Uh, and so that's kind of how you create momentum and you see this progress bar. So now we're going to convert this entire notion list into a focus list. And that's the idea. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to unmark that task because I actually need to do that later. Um, we will go into Framework for Founders, which is my list. We'll go into our apps. I'll go into Notion. I've already connected this Notion account associated with this email. I just need to connect this new database into uh, this Blitzit list. So I'm picking my Blitzit list, Framework for Founders. I'm going to link my Notion to that. And now you can see in this list, we have the Notion icon over here. Once you click Add Database, you'll see all the databases associated with this account. And you can see at the very top, we have Lessons, which is this database over here. So I'm going to go ahead and oh, I lost my database. Oh, there we go. I'll select that and we're going to click Update Databases to show it over here. Yeah, so that's coming in. There we go. So there's our Lessons. We can add individual lessons from here by, you know, going through, you know, we can search for specific lessons or we can see the different uh, status properties that's pulled from Notion. As you can see, potential lessons not started, uh, in progress. Uh, and so those, those are available here. Or you can do what I like to do is an auto sync system. And the way that works is you go to settings. We select auto sync and it prompts you to map your backlog. So we're going to basically map our any of these status properties into the Blitzit backlog, right? And to do that, let's go ahead and show you. I'm going to put these side by side so we just see how everything comes together. Uh, here's the status mapping. Here's my Blitzit back backlog. Here is my status properties available to sync to the backlog. You can't sync the done property, which is this one over here, but you can sync any of these three, whether it's a to do or in progress item. I want to just do in progress because I just, I don't want to pull all of the not started items. I want to be more intentional about that on notion, but anything that's in progress, I want to bring into blitz it. Right. Um, and then from here, we'll mark, uh, or map the blitz it done as the done prop status in notion. Uh, and we don't have any subtasks. Subtasks are classified as a checkbox property. You could add a checkbox property and sync it to the um, Blitzit subtask. So where's that check? So this property over here, but we're not going to add that. We don't need it actually for now, at least maybe in the future. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and sync my Notion tasks. And there you have it. The task from uh, the Notion in progress status has now moved to my Blitzit backlog. And now I can plan these accordingly. So if I want to start working on these, I can move it to this week, for example, if I want to start working on it this week, or I can move it today. If I want to start working on it today, I can give it an uh, estimated time. Let's say it's going to take me two hours, I would assume, and this one, two hours as well. Now it gives me an idea of how long I'm going to spend on my course this week. It's going to take me four hours, including this task. And for today, I've just got two hours for this specific task, right? So it's a really cool system and watch how neatly it syncs, right? If I mark this lesson on Blitzit as done, lesson one, it's going to reflect in Notion. Boom. In Notion, it's been marked as done. So, you know, you're using Blitzit as a focus list to really just kind of go into execution mode. So you don't have to be on Notion. You'll essentially just come back to Blitzit, bring the lessons that you want to work on for that week, go into Blitz mode, 
and then start working on your course, planning it, executing, filming it, do whatever you need, you need to do to lock in. Uh, and I've been using the system for the past uh, week and I've already been made some progress. So I've been really excited to share that with you. And I hope the system really helps. And for those of you guys who are interested in Blitzit, uh, head over to blitzit.app is the URL and you'll come into this um, our, our website, as you can see over here. This collapses into a little timer. And we have, you know, there's a bunch of things to see here and learn about us. We were product number four of the day, for example, when we launch. There's a bunch of features that we haven't gone through, like scheduling, Pomodoros. No, well, we kind of looked at notes earlier and a bunch of personalization settings, including light mode. If you guys don't like dark mode, I know that's a big thing for some people. We've got that too. Um, but yeah, and, um, you know, you, you can learn more about our community, join Discord. We've got 4,000 members at Blitzed already and people love using Blitzit and we've got a very rich roadmap with more integrations coming, AI workflows and so much more. And we also have a mobile app available in private beta, which is super nice. I've got it right here actually and I use it quite frequently. So there's a mobile app as you can see. I've got all my tasks here available as well on the mobile app, which is great. Uh, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles yet, but it's got at least a, a task manager on the go, which is really helpful. And pricing, pricing, pricing. I know that's important. So it's $4.99 for a monthly plan, which is super affordable, just the price of a coffee a month almost. And we also have a lifetime option if you want to pay, pay the pri higher price, but you own it for life, including all features, right? So a huge deal going on over here. And once you download it and install it, you also get a seven day trial to take it for a spin. And if I haven't mentioned this yet, it's also available for Windows and Mac OS, right? So check that out, download it from the download page over here. And if you do choose to try it, Blitz it, do visit our Discord community. The link for the Discord community is in the footer. And once you join, uh, and so just tag me or any of our team members on Discord and let us know, because that'll be really nice to know. <laughs> awesome, I'll catch up with you guys soon. And thanks for watching, bye.